Exactly. <laughs> For somebody who's been watching it. Marriage celebrations are diverse and very unique in Africa. It highlights culture, tradition, and also it also symbolizes the joining of families and communities together. Last week we had an episode where we spoke about cultural practices and traditions in Africa or globally. But on this episode of the key point, we are going to center on Africa. Unfortunately, we may not be able to touch on all the countries in Africa because I mean it's a continent. So we are going to pick some few of our neighbors and have the conversation on it. But to help me go into this conversation or discussion, I have my guests from last week. Uh, I'll be introducing them starting first of all with a lady on the panel. You are welcome, Mrs. Elvera and Joko. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. Thank you too. She's a university lecturer, and on my immediate left, I have Mr. Apostle Kwami Ketemepi Yasent, who is also a Bible school teacher. Thank you for honoring the invitation. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I have Mr. Franklin Anele. I know he's going to be very challenging today. <laughs> So thank you for coming on the key point. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are not going to waste much time. We already touched on some of the episodes or topics last week. So today, the very first question will be the various types of marriages that we have, uh, maybe taking different countries and as possible different ethnicities as well. So I'll start with the, the lady on the panel, if you can give us the various types that you are aware of. Okay, um, so thank you once again. You're welcome. Um, First of all, I would like to talk about how beautiful our African culture is. Okay. I mean, if we go back to <coughs> the different countries and how they celebrate their traditional marriages, you see how rich the heritage of Africa is. Exactly. But today, would I would like to focus on Nigeria. Okay. Right. So in Nigeria, we have about 382 ethnic um, groups, but majorly, I'll talk about three ethnic groups that I'm aware of. Okay. So I would start first with the Igbo, but before then, let me hint that our cultural um, marriages aren't celebrated so differently. Mm -hmm. We have our differences too, okay. but okay. it's similar in okay. a way, okay. right? So when we talk about traditional marriage, we talk about the introduction, mm -hmm. we talk about the negotiation, we talk about the engagement, you know, okay. dowry and bride price. Okay. For the Igbos, we start first with um, the introduction, like an informal introduction, you know, okay. where the groom comes with just a family member mm -hmm. you know this time they come to say okay we saw an apple in your compound and <laughs> the apple is so red and ripe and we would like to pluck the apple so give us the permission you know okay. and then the father says okay we've heard okay let's look at the condition of the apple mm -hmm. and then maybe some other time you come and all that so before they come again the father the bride's um, parents mm -hmm. do their you know, investigation. Mm -hmm. The investigation is vast. You okay. know, they check on how capable the the, the man is. Man is. Okay. They check the family background of the man. You know, check their um, health uh, line to Mentality. know if there is mental, mm -hmm. if there is madness, or you know, all those <laughs> the epilepsy and the rest. Yeah, epilepsy. Of that. You know, all those things that parents are scared of. You know, and then when they are satisfied, they now send a formal invitation saying, okay, we are ready. You can come with your proposal. Okay. This is where you have the uh, formal introduction where the groom's parent come bearing gifts, okay. you know. And then this introduction, they don't come alone. They come with people uh, who we call the umunna. They involve like the kingsmen. Kindred, yeah, okay. kingsmen. The kingsmen. Okay. Yeah, the kingsmen, right? Okay. So... They come with the king's men and then uh, they bring out all the daughters. If the, for instance, we have four girls in the house, mm. they bring out the four girls mm. and they ask you, okay, well, these are the apples that we have. <laughs> so which one catches your eye, you know? And then the groom points out mm. his bride and then the rest go in Then they now ask, okay, this is, this are, this is all I hear for you. Are we accepting or are we not? And then if she accepts, they collect the gifts, everyone cheers, and then we now go to the final stage, which is the Ibanku, okay. the main traditional <laughs> marriage. Mm. Yes. So that's for the Igbos. For the Yorubas, 
they are a bit straightforward, right? Mm -hmm. So, the first informal, um, yeah, just like the Igbos do, mm -hmm. they do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, the Yorubas do the investigation too. Yeah. <laughs> and then before we go to the uh, the courtship stage, that okay. is the formal uh, introduction stage, mm -hmm. whereby um, they bring come bearing gifts, right? Just like the Igbos too. But in the Yorubas, in that particular stage is like formal is like a form of uh, en uh engagement whereby it's everything is formal so the lady ha um, goes to the groom's um, family to spend some time okay. right so that they watch her and see her behavior now it's official the families can go and visit each, each other, other but the bride and the groom must never be caught alone you know there must be in the company of <laughs> there must be in a, com a, a, a company of a third party mm -hmm. and that third party must be a family member okay. right and then finally we have the uh, engagement okay. ceremony where the whole party you can do the party as loud and as lavish as you want <laughs> you know and then for the hour stars the same thing mm -hmm. you know but the difference is in the way we celebrate the traditional marriage you know that is the last stage the engagement party okay. so basically that's it well you already elaborated and also indicated that there's a similarity so yes. i would want to hear from the apostle yeah yeah uh, as uh, our lady says uh, uh, even if uh, we take the whole Africa, we mm -hmm. can see there are similarities. Okay. Uh, because while she was talking, I found my ethnic group all That's along this. Okay. Uh, uh, only that with the airways, for example, there is a first uh, action that is made, which is we call the coco. Oh, okay, the knocking. Yeah, the yes, knocking. The knocking yes. <laughs> this comes before the first step. Mm. Because with the airways we have the knocking maybe one and two people will go with a drink yes. and later on they will do the first step okay. which have more people maybe five some people close uh, parents that are close and it is after this that you can engage into whatever we can do uh, we can call the introduction and mm -hmm. this introduction come with so many actions and from there you, we can go into the uh, the pain of the bride price and every this action comes at yes. the third part yes. and with the airways when it gets there it's the engagement is made and the lady can join the family mm. uh, that's it. so that's it <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Frank, any any addition? No, uh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. There was something she was saying. I was actually trying. I was gonna point out the knocking. Actually, yeah. mm. it has to be maybe the young man with his friend, or you know, two guys. Yes. They will go with a drink to meet the man and say, Ah, this is why we are here. Mm. Now, in terms of investigation, there is one particular kind of investigation. <laughs> That this investigation, how it's been done, you know, this man, the, these parents, the parents of the lady, they not, they not actually know you. Mm -hmm. Some of them will ask you to provide the name of your dad, mm -hmm. your mom, mm -hmm. the your grandfather, your great grandfather, mm -hmm. at least to the third or fourth generation. generation. You understand? Yeah. Now, after which, there is one particular thing that is very, very necessary. They will check the lineage to know. There's what we we'll call an outcast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Even if the guy is well to do, mm. very good family, mm. health issue, nice, everything yeah, so yeah. good, so perfect. But you see this particular one. Mm. So I think the evil tradition they have been trying so hard to abolish this. Mm. Uh, the even the people themselves, no matter how the kindred say we now abolish this, but when it comes to that, they still uh, say, <laughs> they are so much interested in that ground. in that particular yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's that's that particular issue is the major reason why this investigation is being done mm -hmm. before they start considering every other factor. Okay. Because yeah. people can live with any other factor. Mm -hmm. 
let's see, say that you know, when you say outcast what would it imply like the outcast is during in the in the in the time before remembering okay we believe that there are people that they give to the gods of the land yeah. oh, okay they are more like the ones that that they, they are made for the shrine mm -hmm. so they are they are they are food for the gods okay. they are they live for the gods okay so you don't tamper with it mm -hmm. so when any family that <laughs> wow. <laughs> you understand yeah, yeah, yeah so they, they trace it. the lineage I understood it in the sense that maybe somebody might be an Anneli but mm -hmm. maybe if you trace back we realize that the person was probably an Ungozi that was came to stay with the people no, and then they became uh, no uh -huh. this, that's how i understood this initially these outcasts are actually people that they are from the same village yeah. probably we might be brothers mm -hmm. and uh, my dad decided to give you to the shrine mm -hmm. oh, automatically okay. anybody i would tell ah please this one we, in fact from that day you and i are no longer from the same place yeah. wow. that's just how it is that's just the, this thing so they would trace to your fourth generation to make sure that mm -hmm. this thing that's you are clear of it, irrespective of the state, irrespective of even if you are traveling far distance to, unless it's not people of the same tradition that do not understand this, thing, maybe a different ethnic group mm -hmm. or different nation like the Yoruba nation coming to marry from you. Yeah. So that's the only way you can actually marry outside. Does, uh, it, does it affect ladies often or the men often? Both the men, both both gender. Uh, no, uh, both gender <laughs> no, there is no differentiation so here. Most times they end up marrying themselves. Yes, they just oh. have to marry themselves in order to because they so don't the have offsprings from them they do also good. follow this yes wow. <laughs> in as much as that this thing so that's why they have to trace mm -hmm. down to maybe your fourth uh, ancestor to be sure yeah, to that you are not this okay. so after which um when you're coming with your people they expect you to um will come you the depending on the the uh, locale of the community mm. probably they demand for two kegs of palm wine there's what we call up wine you know they will take the requirements with which you come for the traditional okay. uh, uh, introduction okay. after the introduction they will there's this thing we do in a, the ceremony Mm -hmm. Where the lady will take a drink. Okay. To uh -huh. during the introduction, they will still do it too. Ah, uh, okay. They will do a little <laughs> indoor something and say, okay. "Yes, we are now in laws." Uh -huh. You understand? Yeah. So at that particular point in time, if you request for the list mm. for the traditional rights, they will give it to you. Yeah. It's only then that they can give it to you because they will now believe that we have something in common. Okay. We are now families. Okay. So before you know it, they proceed from there. We move into uh, if you should go back home, mm. you prepare what is in the list. Coming back, they probably might do the whole traditional celebration all together. Okay. Where the the kneeling and presenting the drink will also be repeated, okay. which is the main <laughs> symbol. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, we'll, we'll go add, ahead. To add something, in uh, in a airway land, for example, when it happens that the man knows the lady already. There are there is a previous step that is to be made to clear the lady of every accusation. Okay. You have wow. to pay something before mm. you do the first step. Wow. And it is only in the first step. The the ones we are talking about is when the lady is still virgin. Mm. The, the moment she is not virgin, you have to pay something to play a hair <laughs> of any but then in, in this new but, generation but wait, <laughs> if she isn't as a virgin is it that what if you met her not a virgin if you met her not a virgin this is a family problem Okay. Oh. okay. At least you be penalized for it. So yeah, at least okay. Yeah, so I'm not paying yeah, anything. At least you who made this trouble there. You uh, have to pay yeah. something. Okay, that's if I'm the yes, one. Yes, yeah. Because yes. I've heard of the situation where the lady is probably already pregnant. Mm -hmm. I know yes. there are penalties for it, and sometimes you have to wait until. I know until, that's until where the clause of yeah. of you've known the lady. Because mm -hmm. ah, okay. that's the only evidence <laughs> to prove that you've known the lady. Exactly. You know, okay. In the introduction, mm -hmm. they ask that question. Really? Yeah. Yes. Like the, the bride's they family are, would ask for the yes, groom's family. Yes, yeah. the bride's family oh. would ask the bride. <laughs> okay. So you have to be very smart yeah. because the question comes very tricky. tricky. <laughs> they would ask you, do you know this man? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you go like, yes, I know him. I know him very well. They will be like, yeah, you are Your retreat. Think very well. <laughs> do are you know? sure you know? Then yeah. you be like, oh, that's... 
no, he, I'm, we'll I'm aware friends. of his we're yeah. friends and all that so you just okay. clarify the yeah. whole okay. thing yeah so now coming to my second question we've already already touched much more on the introduction and then the negotiation but let's now come to the bright price and the dowry maybe we can look at some of the things that are contained in it you spoke about the list so maybe yeah. from your respective ethnicities or hometowns mm -hmm. when it comes to the bright price and the, what are some of the things that are included in it maybe from any other tribe if you wish i'll, I'll start with you again on this one okay so let me start with my own list okay congratulations <laughs> i was hoping you would say that <laughs> that's to say you studied your list before coming <laughs> <laughs> you know, as considerate as my people are mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so basically what you have in the list is mm. for the Igbo, um add if i'm missing anything Mr. Okay. Brian, yeah so you have like mm. tubers of yam okay you have milo, uh, bar soap, detergent, mm. cola nuts, uh, mm. maybe goats or chicken. Okay. You know, and then the obese and a section where you have like envelopes of money. <laughs> uh, but the money is not like an outrageous sum, you know, just maybe two thousand, five thousand, two thousand, five thousand, five hundred here and there. Mm. Uh, you have like the actually to be like cartons of there's this biscuit that is very very <laughs> it's an old kind of biscuit they call it cabin biscuits cabin so yeah 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 I think every I Oxford cabin biscuits yes biscuit. every lady that is getting married this is yeah, this, this yes this the, biscuit, the white one has done always. a good job <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah and then the list goes on and on. then we have wrappers okay wrappers mm. handbags shoes um traveling boxes uh not this modern day traveling boxes they, yeah. we, there's one we call a trunk mm. you know it's like a rectangle shape okay ahead. is it made out of wood or metal metal it's okay. metal, it's made out of metal yes isn't that is it goes to school kind of uh... yes the demand <laughs> for it so all, all the fabrics <laughs> All the fabrics, okay. you know, both the luxurious one, Hollandis, Ankara, mm. lace, and hair. You do have to put it in the box, yeah. you know. The jewelries, the headgear is mainly for the mother, the mother of the bride. Yeah. So we have this and then <laughs> other things. And mm. then uh, I think for the Eurobas is similar. Mm. But what we don't include is fruits. The Yorubas okay. will ask you to bring baskets of fruits. Fruit. Yes, okay. fruits, then food items. And then they have a section mm. where you have like envelopes of money for different people <laughs> and different uh, <laughs> families. But the, the amount is not outrageous. You have 1,000, 1,500, 500, mm. 2,000. But you have a section where you have like envelopes of money addressed mm. to these different people, mm. you know. And then that's basically it. For the Alsas to the Alsas go all the way, they are very very specific in their demands. I would say the Alsa culture is very very rich. Mm. Anybody, they, there's this saying that that goes, uh, the the furnishing of your house mm -hmm. as an Alsa man or as a man that married an Alsa lady depends on how much love the family. Uh, has shown you. Yeah, has shown the wow. lady. So if you go to an Alsa man's home that is newly wed, and then you see like this luxurious furnishing, mm -hmm. you know that the girl's family really, really love the girl. Mm -hmm. But if the furnishing is sharp, uh, sharp is sharp, sharply done. Excuse mm -hmm. me. You know that maybe that's their mentality. Like, oh, parents don't love you. <laughs> Your parents don't love you. You know. So they demand for these luxurious things. You know. You go to an Alsa wedding, and then you see boxes and boxes and boxes mm -hmm. of material in their case they involve gold okay. and they go yeah. they go this thing they yes so you have like gold sets different gold sets you know for we we don't we're not particular if the jewelry is gold or silver or just look nice that's yes. all <laughs> but they, appealing to the eyes yeah but they, they are particular about it being gold it has to be gold and not just one like different sets of golds and all that you know so basically 
that is it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Since it's coming from the one who receives <laughs> the bride prize and dowry, I think she's touched on more. But if you have any additions, you yeah, know actually, more. if I if I should talk about uh, the, I would still go to my tribe today. <laughs> every people, yeah. uh, in every bride prize, we have two sections. Okay. The very first section is what will remain for the lady. Okay. okay. And and uh, most importantly, we talk about whatever she wear. We talk about uh, clothes. We talks about uh, uh, how do you call it jewelry, mm -hmm. uh, earrings, uh, bracelet, chain, mm -hmm. and all these accessories. Mm -hmm. those accessories. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, in in terms of clothes, mm -hmm. we have different types that shows her. Uh, we, our parents believe that whoever have Holland. Mm. Holland clothes. Hollandis. She will, Hollandis. Okay. Yeah. She will use it in French. We call it Holland. Okay. Hollandis. <laughs> she will use it at home. Mm. And she will use the lower quality one to go out. Mm. It is contrary to the mm. okay. Mamida will say in the, the bride price she, she has come out with twelve uh, pieces of Hollandis. Mm. Yeah. And those are the clothes that she has used at home for many years mm. the, so they have a set maybe six or twelve of hollandis uh, six or twelve of super super mm. works mm. and, and super others works. now added to this there are drinks in in the airway land there is no a bright price without uh, schnapps. Yeah, schnapps, yes. yes. The old type, not even the yes, new type. The, the old, old type. type. Yeah, even in our mm, yeah. culture. They will yeah. ask yeah. you for a, a, a soft drink. And then a and hard they, drink they or liquor. ask you for a liquor mm. yeah. uh, or even St. Saint, uh, Saint James. Yeah, this yeah, one yeah, yeah. It's also to be. They will ask you for Campari. Yes. Uh, because they say sometimes uh, wedding is bitter and uh, sweet. 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 <laughs> so they will ask you for those type of drinks and a beer and, and mm. in some part they add uh, how do you call it uh, uh, those local Soft drinks. local uh, local, uh, local uh, ones uh, yeah. local drinks. I think for the airways we have the Aliha. In yes, the the, 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 the there are variety of things that they Chukuchu. add, mm -hmm. but even even in this uh, in this uh, uh, bright price, mm -hmm. you have something that you offer your parents. Mm -hmm. The envelope you talk about, we yes. also have it, but there are some clothes that will go particularly to the mother, mm -hmm. and there are some that will go particularly to, to the, the father. father. Yeah. At some places, you have to add the traditional. Uh, clothes like kente with my mm. side mm. that shows that you honor your uh, father-in-law mm. mm. and at the uh, mother side you have to add some more so things like this that you package different <laughs> yes. before you you come in and uh, as you were saying when you come in they will test the family they will mm -hmm. bring mm. all the ladies in the house yes. if they attend they will clothe them and bring them for you to <laughs> To choose yeah, identify, and identify yeah. the one you are talking about, yeah. and even in this process, the family makes some little trick. They will see if you are stingy or mm -hmm. if you can keep. They will say we have ten. They are going to search for them abroad. You have to pay. Have yeah. <laughs> yeah. one before? So they want. They will. They will. You know, mm -hmm. these things yeah. they try to know how you are. How uh, how do you call it? Free you yeah. are. Mm. So the how generous. Is, yes. So <laughs> this is uh, what I want to add. Yeah, I think for the for this part he just said the Yorubas do it too in the wedding mm. ceremony, yes. where they sit the bride down, and then they ask her not to. They ask the groom mm. to spray her money. Yeah. So <laughs> if she if she smiles, mm. then he can stop. Okay. But as long as she's frowning, mm. you keep spraying mm. the money. So most brides, you know, because the Yoruba ladies have this ashoki mm -hmm. that they put mm -hmm. over the shoulder. Okay. Mm -hmm. So some of them make it big, so that when they just put it like this, they will pour it inside, and she doesn't smile. He will be trying mm -hmm. his best to make her smile, calling her sweet names, mm -hmm. you know. But you, you know what you're there for. Yeah. You're there for the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know? and one, one particular so, thing with the Ewe, mm -hmm. uh, the the in the ceremony the man comes the last before they end up with the mm. with, with the conclusion of the okay. ceremony mm. the whole ceremony it does not sure. participate 
It does okay. not show up. It is at almost getting to the end. They will say, ah, who has sent you? We want to see him mm -hmm. before they will bring him and sit him down. And uh, before they will, you know, the blessings of the family and yeah. other things will come. If they have to put ring, it is before the whole family he will put the rings and make his vows yeah. uh, to the whole family and later they bless them and they, they allow them to go. Now before I go on my next question, I'm going to skip uh, some other aspect, but I think we'll delve more into that a bit later on. Okay. So I'm going now to counseling because I've also heard that uh, so with some people after the traditional is just the court and they are done other people they do the traditional the court and the blessing which i call the religious one so before i don't know if the counseling start before the traditional after the traditional before the court or after the course i'll start with the apostle on this okay. one uh, thank you very much at, at, uh, at some places the counseling start right from the moment mm -hmm. when the the lady get, is getting to a, a point where the parents know that somebody will move will it, come it in. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. At some places, this okay. is the, the fundamental. Yeah. At some other places, the very first moment, if I should say, when the knocking comes in, mm -hmm. the mother starts saying, hey, you have to be our our crown. You mm -hmm. have to start doing things this yeah. way. Even the dress is how you have to present yourself and all these things. But at some other places, mm -hmm. all come at some, uh, how do you call it, the, the, uh, the days where everything is set for, for, for the engagement and everything, some few days before they will sit here in the okay. room and tell her, you have to do this. So it depends on on every uh, every tribe okay. and I, w I, w I was i was sharing some things with some people the fundamentals of every family or every ethnic group comes with some uh, some actions okay and all have to do with the educational background of every ethnic group there yes. are some places you cannot joke with uh, the identity you are carrying to the the family in law so okay. you have to be regular in everything so the counseling comes very early as they start seeing the steps mm. and at some places the normal minds mm. at the at two days of the ceremony they will say you have to when you go there you have to do this and that yeah. and full stop. okay so mr frank <laughs> um, this this aspect is the counseling mm. like he said the men men are not trained women have been training all their life to become a wife mm -hmm. so the the counseling they need has been given to them stage by stage yeah. okay. so when they actually grow up to a very uh, beautiful young lady and after they you, every minute of the day soon you are going to be somebody's wife <laughs> soon you are going to be somebody's wife soon you are going to be somebody's wife you are supposed to be coming back on time mm -hmm. what if they should see you know they keep bringing yeah. in these things yeah. yes. now uh, we said the men we we consider them suited already that's why they are the mm -hmm. suitors mm -hmm. so once they <laughs> come in we just they just believe that ah so far he has made money he's okay the woman will just help him to navigate his life and all that and all that mm -hmm. but now the society is changing mm -hmm. yeah the women say they want to be more yeah uh, <laughs> not free they want to be useful to the community yeah. they just don't want to depend stay or staying at home mm -hmm. or depending on a man so most of them do not sit down to take this training mm -hmm. so they missed out a lot of things which is the reason why after the traditional this thing because the tradition doesn't have time for uh, the counseling mm -hmm. it's these foreign ideas now both the religious and the listener that is trying to create space for this because as they are coming they are coming with some packages we know that these people no longer have a lot of these things mm. so they now create space for this thing so that it can work out very well so the if you are asking if uh the counseling comes before or after it's mm. mostly after the counseling that we know mm. but originally from the traditional roots counseling starts from the day the lady start growing mm. as a girl Mm -hmm. the day they told you that this is your uh, uh social life this is your identity your mm -hmm. social role in the in the society okay okay 
so uh, now we move into um, where exactly the clothing and then the attire uh, I think it's crucial for how you represent yourself uh, I think even maybe I don't know if it is possible for the knocking could you just dress anyhow you have to dress traditionally I don't know uh, for the introduction is there a particular attire for the ceremony itself which is a traditional marriage let's talk a bit about the attire I'll start with you on this one whether it's within the same ethnic group within the same community how does it go like okay so like he was saying things have evolved mm -hmm. right for the knocking we consider it as not so formal okay it's like informal so it doesn't really matter the most important thing is dress presentably mm -hmm. uh -huh. dress neatly just look neat and look uh, uh, decent you know for the introduction yes mm -hmm. you require a native attire but not so serious not mm -hmm. like a ceremonial okay. native okay. attire mm -hmm. but just to, uh, to show like a rep representation of what is happening at that moment mm -hmm. you know um, you can't wear jeans and t-shirt <laughs> when you know that something serious you understand what I'm saying yeah. you know and so, the clothing don't have to be matching clothes like uniform yeah, it doesn't mm -hmm. have it's to only in the celebration that you can see that mm -hmm. yeah okay. so mm -hmm. and then the way you have the major major attire is when you come to the traditional marriage itself mm -hmm. yes that is when you see the elaborately dressed bride and groom mm -hmm. um, for example for we the Igbos the ladies dress in you know this luxurious George mm -hmm. fully stoned be dead mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh, expensively expensive <laughs> you know uh, she we normally tie two wrappers okay okay we tie two wrappers one down then one on top okay. and then we wear um a an um luxuriously stoned blouse okay. and then our headgear our accessories mm -hmm. too mm -hmm. are, all, are also very um luxurious mm -hmm. for the man he tries to match the color of the bride so he tries to you know men can look luxurious too but mm. in a simple way <laughs> they are just they don't they don't they don't need to look luxurious <laughs> so you just have to wear it in and come out mentality is as long as your wife is looking looking good, good. It is from you. yeah it's from you yeah. like she's your light mm -hmm. <laughs> something like that so for the Yorubas, they also have their own attire uh, they don't tie two wrappers like the Ebos. Okay. They tie one, and they they usually uh, use this their traditional fabric, traditional which is fabrics. called the uh, Ashoki fabric. Okay. So you see the lady tying what they call Iro Atibuba. Okay. So Iro is like uh, the wrapper, okay. you know, and then Buba is the top. Okay. Then they have like an extra. Okay. A sash, an extra um, yard of cloth, mm -hmm. ashoki as well, which mm -hmm. they stash like around sash, their okay. um, mm -hmm. shoulders yeah. with their headgear, accessories, you know. They're all also very, very luxurious Luxurious. Looking. Yeah. And the men wear this agbada, mm -hmm. you know, very big <laughs> ashoki. Wow. You know, embroidery. Embroidery, and, you know, luxurious yeah. embroidery with their cap, which is called fila. Okay. You know, and then for the houses, uh, I've not been to any before. So I don't really know how <laughs> it looks like. For for the men, you know, men always look simple. Mm -hmm. You know, but for the lady, I know gold everywhere. Mm -hmm. Then with their luxurious, they don't joke with gold. Like mm -hmm. they are, they are, very, they, very, they are actually very obsessed with. Yeah, gold. they are yeah. obsessed with gold. With so gold. you see her designed in the, lots of the, gold. The neck, the some round here, just yeah. all over. Okay. Nose piercings. Mm -hmm. are, are those from typically rich house or homes or just the, even the standard? Okay. The the thing is, there is a particular tribe. They are not actually houses. They call them the Shuarabs. Okay. Okay. They, the the Shuarabs, I don't know, they, they kind of half cast kind okay. of, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. The uh, Shuarabs, mm -hmm. to tell you that they are not completely out, yes. just that they are there. Mm -hmm. So they are the ones that, that are, mm -hmm. they are very rich. Others. I don't know, I don't understand why. <laughs> those ones, yes, those ones are excessively rich. Mm -hmm. okay. And 
in other then i remember then when naira still have so much value and uh, one of my friend the sister got married and uh, she said ah you must beautify her with gold at least only the one here and the one on the neck is more than seven million naira i was like Hello, he said, ah, even the bride price and the other, a lot of money is going to be involved. It's not just. I, I, so I began to imagine. The, 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 the most important thing is the gold. Even the young man talking to me fixed uh, gold in it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, it's just their thing. Yeah. So they are actually obsessed with gold. Yes, mm -hmm. for them, gold is important. To gold is very, her. very important. Even in the paying of four yeah. things, it has and to be gold. She has like beautiful henna design. designs, yeah. henna designs on yes, mm -hmm. on her hand and on her feet and all yeah. that. So I'll just say the only uh the only thing is just like he said, the groom comes mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So for them it's just the ceremony is just for her and mm -hmm. then you see her wow. with her friends, her group mm -hmm. of friends, cheering her, you know. Is um the bridesmaid and then the groom's mm -hmm. men mm -hmm. that do the negotiation. Okay. Okay. Yes. So you have to sweet talk uh mm -hmm. the bridesmaids mm -hmm. you know then shower them with gifts before they allow you see, see. the bride mm -hmm. you know so it's <laughs> the one on which you are spending <laughs> yes you know so it's really very interesting mm -hmm. it's very interesting any last addition before we touch uh, on actually uh, I, I believe it is a way to show how important what you are doing is mm -hmm. yes. and uh, uh, as we were saying uh, some times ago it is a whole lot of repression. Mm -hmm. uh, he used to say that uh, man have to come with a lot of riches to show that he has worked for it. Yes. <laughs> and uh, it is also a way to say getting married is a whole lot of process. Mm -hmm. You have to be sufficiently uh, enough ready for this so you show it mm -hmm. in this day. So And the family the, mm. the way you are important for them, they will back you with so many things and, and do what is necessary. Yeah. So okay. this now brings me to the bride price and dowry. Because from my small research or understanding, the bride price is what the groom's family give to the bride's family to symbolize the appreciation mm -hmm. and then the commitment to the wife to be, mm -hmm. and then a dowry is where the bride's family either transfer a property, it could be a house, a land, a cattle, sum of money, or something. I was getting it confused, but I don't know if it is in your culture as well or all of your cultures. I'll start with Mr. Frank on this one. Okay. Um the dowry and the bride price mm. from where i'm coming from mm. the both of them have been done by the the groom's family mm. there is what we call um uh, okay like from the anambra state because actually my wife is from anambra state okay um she uh, they have to do after the bride price there is what we call imego Okay. The imego is also the dowry. Okay. Uh, after imego, there is what we call uh, there's another one we call iti bubu, something like that. <laughs> <clears throat> so these three stages mm. is just part of the dowry. Wow. Now the the one that the the uh, bride's family mm. would do for the girl is what we call iduno. Okay. To set her. Oh. Uh, oh. So it's not a dowry. Mm. Now the the diary specifically uh, some in in some Igbo lands the diary specifically some the diary so, some pay like forty naira, mm. sixty naira, not even up to hundred naira. <laughs> some <laughs> some the way they just take it is they will just bring uh, bring maybe sticks or uh, cowries, mm. and the father of the girl will just take like four or five pieces each of one. Of the cowries represent 100 naira. If he managed to carry five, mm. he'll just pay 500. Mm. Okay. So, the but it's, it's not, not like there's a significance to it, but the yeah. value, the or value, quantity yes, the is idea less. of the value being so less is because uh, we said that she's not being sold, yes. mm. so this thing is not the value. You understand? Mm -hmm. We are just taking this from you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Not that we are actually bring, telling you to bring 10 million is like selling the girl. Mm -hmm. So we are not selling our daughter. Mm -hmm. So we are just giving it. We are just giving her to you. Some in some families they will just tell you after collecting it, 
they will give it back to you and say use it and take care of our daughter mm -hmm. okay yes. so but the significance of it is this it's is dead. what you are bringing so any day you are returning their daughter if it was 20 naira they collected from you they that's what you will receive <laughs> back after you must have spent everything on it. <laughs> so mr frank i need clarification okay i heard your your anabra people oh. you used to demand for motorcycles oh uh, that's not true Compulsory. i don't know it, it depends it depends it depends maybe that you know they we don't want their daughter to come to your house and trek oh. so you must buy a motorcycle yeah i i think you know um the anambra people we have the newy people that majorly deal on bike mm. that is this motorcycle mm. they okay. it's just their business so okay. they can actually include it in their traditional whatsoever mm, yeah. but be from them when i check the list I was kind of amazed, you know. I only saw the major thing there, apart from the Imego and the, and the table, it's less than 200,000, you will just take the whole thing done. Mm. So it was mainly just a goat, 100 tubas of yam, mm. and uh, it's, it was just drinks, drinks, drinks. Mm. But at the end of the day, the drinks were much. Mm. You understand? Because it has to be both the king's men, the king's men and all of yeah, those and all of those. Animal. So most of uh, them, what for the parents, the youth, the mom, mm. all of those things, we will just see them. the women. Mm. So most of those things that you bring, they will tell you, you put uh, 5,000 in the envelope mm. with three cartons of malt, with two cartons of beer, with this one, this one, this one, for these people. This one for these people just like that okay so you're not so, answered sorry oh, okay go ahead. no I, i'm from the list i saw there was no motorbike no motorbikes Are yes you in so probably parts? it was the part of the anambra mm. you see because even in all the states even in anambra states there are people that there's is mm. okay you are from you are from imo state you can testify when we talk of the mbc people Mm. that if we are saying that in fact the whole of Igbo state Igbo speaking states mm. they are scared of the Igbo states actually <laughs> because the yes yes the, yeah. theirs is much more mm. higher there are people that with two million naira you've not been able to finish whatever is in the list mm. yeah that's not true it's, it's we that are scared of the anambras <laughs> uh, imagine, uh, imagine uh, you as a man starting life you don't even have a bike and they're asking you to buy you, a bike. you have to go back and ask really. more questions <laughs> I'm telling you really no, <laughs> see have, you are the one patient is the one receiving <laughs> so yeah, yeah. we did, we did pay us actually made our our this thing we did okay. our assignment to be sure who pays more, who yeah, pays so less and who pays let's less. clarify one last thing before we wrap yeah. up courtship and engagement there's always that confusion just like i said mm -hmm. about the dowry and then the bride price so yes. probably if you could help us with them for courtship courtship starts after the formal visit that's the second visit when the the proposal is done you okay. know they come with palm wine cola nuts you know and then they ask you okay these people have come for this purpose you know should we accept so once that is um ascertained mm -hmm. it's official your courtship begins you know in the eye of the two families you people are now dating it's now okay. that the dating starts, starts. Yeah. traditional traditionally <laughs> you know but it mustn't be found alone mm. like it must always be in the in the company of okay. a third, third party, party. Yeah. Okay. so that's yeah. when the cutting starts and then everything now becomes formal after the traditional mm. um, marriage you know where she formally goes to your house you know to stay an engagement the engagement is a traditional marriage Mm, but I've, I've had people say they are uh, people shouldn't be equating engagement to traditional marriage because just as we give place to wedding, which is probably the white marriage mm -hmm. or white ceremony, we should give place to the traditional marriage apart from the engagement. Okay, let me let me add something. The the engagement here is what I will consider as the normal introduction, mm -hmm. because in the introduction. The, they will give the lady the drink to go and give to the man, which they would do in the tri in the wedding mm. itself. So. In, itself, you know that in Western culture, the the young man wants to engage a woman. Yeah. He will yeah. he he yeah. needs yeah. and gives yeah. a, a ring. ring or whatever yeah. they call those. Songs. In wedding, what do yeah. they give? 
actually ring. ring. Yes. So it's just the same thing. Just that here they will do this thing on the inside. It's a small. Yeah. It's a small this thing where they give they give the girl a drink. Mm. She will go and give to the man, and yeah. we we'll start calling ourselves in laws. That's mm. to say, they know that these people are in a process of marriage. Okay. They 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 are on the collision course now. There's nothing stopping it. Mm. And like I said earlier, our marriages are similar but not so similar mm. for the Yorubas. The engagement is the traditional oh, okay. marriage. It's at that point they exchange rings. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So they have two steps, introduction and engagement. Mm. During the engagement uh, is where you present everything given on the engagement list. They write it there clearly, an engagement list. list mm. You okay. know, so it's for the reverse is simple, but for we from the eastern part of um, Nigeria, just as he explained it, it's just the wine. Mm. Uh -huh. If he accepts the wine you give him, then that's considered an engagement. Maybe the uh, uh, <laughs> on, on our end, I was talking about the knocking, mm -hmm. and the second one is the first step. The first step is an engagement with the, with our uh, our ethnic groups. Okay. So you come and you present some drinks the one and two mm -hmm. to let the family know that from today you engage yourself to work until the traditional marriage comes in place okay. and and okay. many people when they do this first step they are they put everything there yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so in in clarity, the the courtship is where the in, the intent yeah. of well, now we want to get married, mm -hmm. but the engagement is when you bring in something to seal the bond from the both yes, families, yes, and then yes. from there we, we can relate okay, to the. I think I think that is clear enough. So we've already explained or clarified on the dowry and then the bride price as well as the courtship and engagement any any last words i think we are behind time i will start with the lady again on this one today she will not end <laughs> she will not end so, today um, we didn't talk about the the last part of the entire ceremony where okay. the blessings yeah the blessings are highlights on that one for yeah, us yeah so <laughs> for the western parts uh, they give the, the two elder, two the eldest people from both families okay. come and bless the couple, mm -hmm. and uh, at that point they bring like a bath, a basin of water, mm -hmm. where they wash the um, the bride's feet. Okay. In uh, their, I believe is they are washing off every negativity, every, negative. mm -hmm. every bad omen, they are washing it out and she's going to her husband's house with positivity, you know, good luck and the rest, you know. For us, like I explained the last time, the eldest person in the family to mm -hmm. blesses you, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaks into water and then just um, Spray. sprays it and all that, you know. So basically that's it. And then you're going home with the goodies your people got for you, mm. you know. For the Yorubas, uh, I think the same thing, you know. I think you're for a week before your honeymoon, mm. they keep you in a room, which is called the fattening room. Mm -hmm. yeah. So <laughs> in that room, you have aunties coming to counsel you mm -hmm. on how to be a good wife. You're not allowed to do anything or touch anything. You know, you just basically wake up, have your bath, mm -hmm. eat beautiful, eat, beautify yourself, beautify <laughs> yourself. You know, after the the week, then you're now fully uh, induced into the marriage. So they believe they prepared you enough you know to face um, your marriage you know so basically um traditional marriage is beautiful like yeah. uh, i really enjoy attending back then when i was a student <laughs> i usually enjoy going for traditional marriages honestly because you know the the richness different people on how they express you know people have different ways on how they want to express mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, uh, their own culture and mm -hmm. all that you know so it's really beautiful to watch uh, yeah so uh, I'll hand over to Mr. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> the touch has been um, to there, you. There is, in beautifying the ladies, there was, there is this tribe, this Hausa people. Mm. Um, there is something that, that was running online some time ago, they called the Kayamata. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. When they talk about the Kayamata, people think that Kayamata is all about charm. Yeah. <laughs> that was not the origin of the of the word Kayamata. Kayamata was when they are preparing a lady mm. for marriage. Mm -hmm. So they will have to maybe a week or two weeks to prepare her very well. They will. Uh, I don't know the traditional roots and all of those things they will use on her so that um, the idea is that she will be so good for her husband mm -hmm. so that the husband doesn't go outside. Yeah. Okay. You know, they prepare her, they prepare the body. It's not mm -hmm. just when I mean prepare the body, they prepare her. So the the smaller girls go in terms of charm, mm -hmm. so easy to keep a man. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that they will prepare this woman in such a way that she will be so good for her husband to not look out Outside. Outside. Mm -hmm. So it's part of the marriage preparation as we are talking about. So well, um, I believe a higher percentage of what we are supposed to talk about in this aspect has been <laughs> well, it's marriage, the traditional marriage. In fact, the African culture is, is something wonderful. Sometimes I do see the uh, Af uh, uh, the Black Americans, the Jamaicans, whenever they see anything from African origin, mm. the way they comment and say that our fatherland mm. or you know our yeah. motherland, uh, Af Africa is great. You know, you you tell yourself that irrespective of the fact that you are the ones seeing it every day. Mm. You you, it, 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 you, you have grown resistance to it, but the people <laughs> out there, the way they cherish it's this thing, it, yeah, it was, yes. it's, it's actually very wonderful. Yes. It's wonderful. So, I, thank you very much. Actually, when, when we, we see uh, all the process of the traditional marriage, mm. we first see that our culture is very rich mm. and there is a whole lot of process getting into it to secure the family. Mm. And we shouldn't forget this aspect. We are into social organization. Mm. You are not just going to raise your, your, yourself alone and go exactly. and take a lady, but people gathered around you and they put you into a process for you not to break it at any moment as you want. So yes. all these things comes to into building society. So okay. that's one of the uh, the richest aspect that we have. Mm -hmm. When you go to Europe, you see the lady in the restaurant engage mm -hmm. tomorrow. Everything yeah, goes. There is no <laughs> familiar engagement. Mm -hmm. exactly. Tomorrow it can break at any moment. But yes. when you go into the African ways, before you do some mistake, you think twice. Mm -hmm. The family yes. ties. The family part. <laughs> you yeah. ask yourself, oh, if I go this way. So all these things comes into the richness of our culture. And uh, I think this is one of the values we need to appreciate when it comes to uh, family and uh, all this process into marriage and mm. so on and so forth. Thank you. I think first of all, we equally need to seek guidance for those who have not already engaged or indulged in it. Yeah. No matter how strong, strong or how <laughs> resistant you think you can be, you yeah. still have to go to the traditional way before you can even continue yeah. the rest. Yeah. Sure. So that is my message to mm. our viewers. You know, marriage is the celebration that symbolizes a union between families yes. and if we are able to do it properly, it also gives room for other people to first of all see our identity uh, express culture the tradition the heritage but i also believe that when you become couples how your marriage should be or would be would depend mainly on the two of you yeah. because after the ceremony and all that the two of you are the one going away so yeah. Yeah, we should be able to do that so Thank you, Mrs. Elvera Njoku, for honoring the invitation, You're as welcome. well as uh, Apostle Yasen Ketemipi and Mr. Frank Anele. We've exceeded the time today. <laughs> so you can watch the Key Point every Tuesdays and Thursdays, 10.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. Catch us same time on Sundays and also on YouTube is a Key Point playlist on New World TV. See you next week. It's a bye.